Rocket man working on a space car all alone. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Hello. I did not see you there. How are you doing? This is my face, which you can't see because I'm in a spacesuit. So, welcome to a video on space engineers. Today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of a project that I have over here. It's the uh, missile launchers or the missiles themselves. Uh, I'll tell you more about that. That's not something unique to me. I've seen a lot of people try to make missiles and I have a little bit of a problem of how they function, but I'll explain more of that. Uh, when we get there, so we are going to take our space car over there, which I am so happy about. It's it's amazing. I love it so much. Uh, the the tires did spin at one point, but if you are a space engineers uh, player uh, who've played around with the rotors on small ships, you know that that doesn't work. Uh, the sh the car tipped over to the side and refused to move anywhere for some reason, even though all the <laughs> rotors were off at that point. Uh, so there's a little bit of a problem. And you jump in and it just looks amazing. You can see the engines. Uh, you fly up. Ah, oh, it's... I love this car. It's so much fun. It's not... It's not super uh, fast. Uh, you can see that some thrusters there. You should see if I start firing. Actually, in the engine room, you can see that it's actually shining when I'm going forward. And that's because there are, I think, two big thrusters moving us forward. And uh, yeah, you can see there's a lot of engines inside just by me moving around. Uh, so if you're a bit interested in this car, I can show you that at another point, but that's not the point of this video. Uh, the point of this video is to show you uh, these. Now let me replace this. There we go. Lock it in place. Appears I did not do enough preparations. So these are the uh, Prototype 1 missile. And uh, you can see that there is a, a light... No, it's a heavy armor uh, stick with engines. There are seven engines, uh, three on each side and one on the back. It has a completely flat bottom so that I can attach it to these legs, these landing gears. Now, the premises of this is that this could be a ship. A large ship as well. And you could fly these around. You stop the ship. Aim your ship. And you let these guys fly off. Which which I will show you how. Now the problem I had with the other missiles I've seen. Is that they look pretty much identical. Or stuck pretty much identical. They have no engines though. So you move the entire ship. You let the missiles go. And the inertia will make the missiles continue going, but your ship, but you will break your ship. So it will appear as if the missiles are launching, but in fact you are stopping the ship and letting the missiles continue on. Now we're going to keep this thing stationary because it is in fact a station. And that is because uh, that's the way I uh, did it. Now there's only one warhead. I in front of us so let's move this to a location where we can fire at it a little bit lower I believe should be fine so we can see this is a test target yes that's perfect and I'm going to show you how to fire these things so this is the first prototype that I made so there's only uh, there's a few gyroscopes ahead here and there's one warhead in the front just to test them out because I don't have much experience with these things. Uh, so there's a bunch of gyroscopes to make sure that it doesn't spin and turn. I think there's way too many. No probably not because we are actually using the thrusters to make it start moving so there's a bunch of generators here to make sure that we get a nice launch. 
So I unlock uh, the landing gears. I fly up. I actually manually uh, enter the missile. Now I have to be careful so that I don't turn this. Uh, so I have to hold alt. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to start going. And once you reach kind of the end of the ship, and that will be signified by the two holes uh, right in front of it, and that will be uh, the wall of the ship. And when you get there, you jump off and you turn on your inertial uh, dampeners, because if you just jump off while in flight, that you will keep gliding with it. And you will see it keeps going without us. Because there are no inertial dampers on this ship, uh, on this missile. Uh, there are no backwards thrusters, and you will see this will keep on going for quite a while if I don't uh, grab it. There we go. Uh, so that's the kind of damage it does to one layer of uh, armor, uh, light armor as well. So that's not what you're going to be firing at. You're going to be firing at heavy armor ships. So this is a double layer heavy armor with uh, engines on it. Now the reason I've put engines on it is because you are going to fire at a ship. So these have, uh, what is it, for uh, 16 engines in all directions. So once again we'll jump into the ship. Fly off. That's the wrong button. Now I have to have my hand on three keys. The forward, and then I have to press the S, uh, jump out, and then the inertial dampers after that. So let's see what this does. Oh, that did some nice damage. Let's remove it. Uh, I'm fairly sure that this uh, broke through. Yes, it broke through uh, the first layer of armor. So we can see this is the back armor that I'm removing. So there's no armor here. We destroyed... Uh, a let's see a 10 of the front armor but we only slightly damaged uh, the back armor if we look on the back side there's actually missing stuff right here that's not good and uh, I'd removed them when I removed the block behind there so we have some damage on the second layer not much uh, the third layer would have been completely fine so let's delete this entire thing and we have a prototype number two now this is pretty much the same thing thing I've added the double amount of thrusters at uh, the same amount of uh, uh, engines uh, generators I would say there's six uh, gyroscopes but the core it's entirely made out of warheads. You can see that the entire core, except the last block, is made out of warheads. And there's a bunch of them in the front here. So this should should do more damage. I don't know how they stack up. I haven't test fired this one. I had test fired the first prototype, of course. But this one is completely new to me. And the rest of the experiments over there will also be new. So let's test fire this, and while we do that, there is a downside to this of course, and that is that you have to power them manually. That has nice speed. Whoa! The... It did no damage! What?! It blew itself up, but it did absolutely no damage. It is still in an alpha, so... Uh, there might be some bugs with the amount of, uh, if you have too many uh, warheads, they'll simply just cancel each other out. Seems like a very odd thing to happen. Uh, so let's actually try it again. Let's see, is this lined up? No, it's not. Will I hit? No, I will not. Uh, so let's try it again. So we re the, the re real downside to this is that you still have to fire it manually. You have to go into the thing to make it go boom. So no, it's not doing any damage. It's just a self-destruction thing. It does nothing. Wow. 
I had no idea. Uh, so let's try this this instead, the new newer version. So that f warhead is completely useless, uh, apparently. I'm just going to duplicate this so I have a backup. Now this is an entirely different thing. Let's see, do I have... No, I, it's not armed. Uh, so let me arm this. So this will actually be able to be fired f f when you're steering the ship. So one player can steer the ship and fire these missiles uh, with the press of a button. So let's take and make a... A big rock. And actually, no, the mass. Uh, so let's push it a little. Push it a little bit more. And we'll see. Yep, there we go. Bonk. It should have been locked. It's locked in place. So this ship, if I jump out, you will see it has a bunch of gravity generators on the back side. Now, since they are rotated like this, this is up for the generators and this is down, they will make a massive gravity field or a super strong gravity field in that direction. So towards the enemy ship. Okay. And we have a bunch of gyroscopes. Uh, this is all one frame with uh, two generators on the entire ship. So there's less generators. This rock is affected by gravity. So nothing else is really affected by gravity. It's you and rocks. Uh, for now, of course, it's an alpha. Hopefully in the future, everything will be affected by gravity. So if I would create a small ship, this block would fall in a gravity field. Right now, it's it just doesn't... It's like when you're wearing a jetpack. You will, they are not affected by gravity. So there's rotors below, and then it's actually nothing else. So there's the rotors, a gravity field, a uh, two generators, this rock, and then landing gear holding the rock in place. So the theory here, which I have tested by itself, is that the generators and the gravity field will push the stone towards the enemy ship. So they will push push the stone in the gravity field, so the stone will fall, technically. And that will push on the ship, pulling the generators with it. So it's like an infinite ma infinity machine, it will just keep on going. There are no engines, so it will not stop unless it hits something. So that is the theory behind it. So I'm gonna start the generators, which are now shut off. I'm gonna jump in, I'm gonna start the generators, and you will see in the bottom uh, corner that there is a gravity field. And the gravity field is pointing in that direction. So if I do this, it's pointing to the left. So all these guys are producing a super strong gravity field. The thing is not going anywhere because we're holding it in place with this, with this station. Uh, if you would have a big large ship, this is not strong enough to move a large ship. So it shouldn't bother that, but this is a station, so it will not move. So what you'll do is actually, you're in the ship, you unlock the legs, oink, get out, and the thing starts moving by itself, like a real missile. Now it's super slow in the beginning, but it's going to pick up speed. We have a lot, a flat area of... Uh, warheads to spread out the damage some shields to make sure that they can't shoot down the warheads but let's see what happens Boom! wow the entire thing exploded all those gravity generators so we have put a dent and this thing wow the heavy armor is heavy armor now it is bungled up on the backside Ah, so it appears that the recording froze while uh, when I stopped the uh, symmetry mode. So there's no symmetry mode, but no blocks have been destroyed. Not a single block has been destroyed. So using a single warhead is way more powerful 
but actually using a multiple uh, warheads. So let's try this out. We have this, uh, the core prototype right here. Let's put it in pos position. Uh, just put it right here. Like so. And we'll, we'll lock it in place. Like that. So this ship actually doesn't have a gravity generator. You can't have a gravity generator close to this thing. Uh, because that will cause the rock to behave while... I guess while loading you can't have the, gra the gravity fields uh, nearby. Because that would bother the mechanic. Uh, but then you can actually... If, you're, if you have locked it in place... Let's take a big stone. A bigger stone. This should be a really big stone. Yeah, that's a big stone. Maybe the gravity will affect that even more and make it go faster. So now we have a bigger stone. And as I said, now you can put a gravity field on the ship or turn it on. And this won't go anywhere because the stone is locked in place. Uh, but let's to do this. We'll take some warheads. We'll put one here. Do they have any special kind of rotation that I don't know of? It doesn't appear like it. Let's do this. Let's rotate these and see if the outer or the inner one does more damage and see if spacing them out like this does a difference. So what we can do now is the, th the reason why I have to reload the stone all the time is because the stone isn't copied when you cop the sh uh, copy the ship. So let's quickly turn this on and get to the exciting part. Exciting part is coming up now. Exciting part. Let's see if this is faster. Wow, that's definitely faster. Yep, that acceleration is definitely faster. And you can see, no, it's not really bending that much. Uh, the thing, if I turn off the gyroscopes, Okay, so we still... I forgot to replace the the shield, but we didn't hit the same place. So I'm going to nullify these two that are broken because... Nope, I'm not. Uh, this completely blew a hole in the first layer of armor and did a lot of damage to the other one. And it's the same, so they don't have any special rotation that does more damage. Uh, but let's see the bottom here. Did we destroy straight through? No, look at the backside. Let's look at the backside. Not much damage on the backside. A bit of damage. Yeah, that's definitely a bit of damage from this from this fired uh, from this uh, missile. So yeah, that's those missiles are really cool, and I'm getting a feel on the uh, the warheads. We did completely ob obliterate the first layer. Of the uh, iron uh, of the heavy armor and if there were only one layer of heavy armor it would have blasted a big hole in this so let's actually just before we go let's try it with one layer of armor and see how big a hole we can make in this so I have reloaded this with a bigger stone we have the one thick armor let's Turn this on while we're uh, while we're locked in. So let's try these guys once again. Three of them, the same, the one that did the most damage. We have one thick uh, plate of armor. Let's see, we're going to hit straight. Uh, no, we're not. We're gonna hit the side, uh, but that's not a problem. Let's see the, the dashboard. Do this side release. That is what I call acceleration. It's accelerating almost as fast as me. Wow, that's a fast missile. Did that just go straight through? Wow, that just went straight through. Wow, that's that's what you call damage. That's a really hole. That's really a big hole in your in your ship, Mr. Thin ship. <laughs> so that's the all the testing I have for you today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like. If you didn't, feel free to leave a dislike. And I shall see you. Uh, 
called the next time flying off into space on my space car